So with the balance patch coming out, people are looking for what the next meta is. So here I am, here's my video. This is the hidden monk. Now this is a daredevil build because daredevil is pretty strong right now. I would say core thief isn't amazing, but daredevil has really good synergy with a lot of the new op stuff right and we'll get into that so first off we're running marauders a lot of thieves are trying out zerker because they don't think they have enough damage marauders is probably still better because zerk is only marginally more damage but even like even way less survivability and even though damage is really hampered right now it's still very easy to coordinate damage on them I'm using Rune of Infiltration because this gives you a little bit of vigor, which is really good because you need all of your dodges with this build. And because the power precision is just really nice and the kind of like execute effect is really important for this build because Heartseeker, as you can see, we're using Dagger Pistol still. This is a Dagger Pistol build, just with Pistol Pistol. Um, Heartseeker is still really important because Heartseeker has been kind of unnerfed, but Heartseeker was only really good at uh, finishing low targets. So yeah, it's really important to have all these modifiers when targets are below a certain HP because it makes your Heartseekers hit for a lot. And even though a lot of your damage has been lowered, it helps you to focus targets and basically do what your job was before as a thief. Right, so Heartseeker is pretty important. You also have Exploitation Sigil on your dagger because for the exact same reason you want that Execute effect. I'm not running Deadly Arts for Executioner, but um, if you did take that, that would be really nice for your Heartseekers. But yeah, I take double energy because as I said before, all of your dodges are really important. You're using Bound, so your movement is kind of hampered as well because um, dash gives you superior mobility and yeah you basically rely on stealth to get your mobility so a lot of times you have to use a combo finisher of leap right to get into stealth with your black powder so you need as many dodges as you can to get into stealth and that'll give you the mobility from meld with shadows and then I just take cleansing on pistol. You could take anything there. You could take separation or revocation. Uh, I just take cleansing because that's just something that I'm used to. Um, so yeah, there's the sigils and stuff. Rune and amulet. In world versus world, I would probably take the same stuff, except I would take a celerity sigil on uh, my dagger, probably. And I would just use that as a like burst weapon set because five seconds of quickness is still really good. Um, so the traits, I take shadow arts, normal stuff with uh, leeching venoms and shadows embrace. But in the grand master, because rending shade has been nerfed to one boon stolen, I've actually moved over to cloaked in shadow. And this was a very underwhelming trait before the patch, but after the patch, since everyone's damage has been hampered, this is actually doing pretty decent damage. 200 lifesteal per uh, blind is actually pretty decent because, first of all, they buffed black powder, so it's a wider radius now. So as you can see, it, it actually has a really big radius. And every time it's blinding them, which is every two seconds, it's giving you 200 healing and that's AOE. So it's giving you a lot of sustain and decent damage. And obviously you blind when you go in stealth too. So like if I do my combo here, I did two blinds there because of the finisher into the, the field gave me the first blind and then the second blind when I went into stealth. So there's a lot of blinds that this build gives out and this is why it's called the hidden thief because you're either in stealth or the enemy is blinded. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much your defense with this build is blind and stealth So yeah cloaked in shadow is really good and you can do stuff like um, 
smoke screen and then sometimes there's like roll finishers that you can do also since you're using pistol pistol you have a really huge burst combo of using the sneak attack right so when you go in stealth you have sneak attack which is five 100 percent physical projectiles so that'll do five blinds if you do it through your smoke field that you got stealth with right here so as you can see i did only 2000 damage there because none of my hits crit but that also did 1000 extra damage in uh, lifesteal and did that much in healing as well so yeah i did 3.4k there and then another 1k in lifesteal which is pretty good uh for a ranged attack right and in 2v2s this is really good because a lot of times you can't chase people but you can pressure from afar with this and do ranged burst so yeah it's really good so that's going to be one of your main combos is black powder and shoot through your blind field with the blind field being so large now you can get a lot of um there's a lot of versatility with how you use it as well it's not you know you have to like kind of fit the the blind field in between you and your target right but since it's pretty big it, there's a lot of room for that so yeah a lot of sustain comes from this uh trait and a lot of damage as well for like when there's a down situation oftentimes you want to put your blind field on the the down so that they can't counter pressure you and then you want to auto attack and do stuff like that while you got the blind to uh give you some you know count preventing the counter pressure from enemies and even the downstate body from knocking you back or something like that, right? So you already kind of want to do that before, and now you get really rewarded for doing it with this trait because you gain a lot of damage and sustain at the same time. Before, it was kind of like you didn't really want to use too much of your initiative on utility. Well, now you get damage and utility with this skill, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, moving on. Trickery. This is all pretty standard here, nothing new. Sleight of hand, bountiful theft, thrill of the crime. Bountiful theft has been nerfed to two boons stolen, so on the priority list of boons it steals, it goes Aegis and Stability are one and two, and then Protection is right below that. So you don't actually remove Protection every time you steal if they have Aegis and Stability. But most people don't have Aegis and Stability and Protection, right, except Guardians. So it's still pretty good versus most things and obviously sleight of hand is just really good because more steals means more playmaking abilities more interrupts just you know more of the more of the stuff that you always love on thief and then in daredevil you have escape is fortitude this is just more condi cleanse the reason why you don't take this instead of marauders resilience is because the Condi Cleanse that you get from Withdraw, Roll for Initiative, and Shadows Embrace are very specific Condis. So this removes Torment and all movement inhibiting, this removes all movement inhibiting conditions, and this removes all damaging conditions. But Weakness isn't included there, so you really need Escapist Fortitude to get rid of Weakness, because there's still a lot of Weakness in the game. So, yeah, you basically have to take that. And then you have um, Havoc Specialist because it's just more damage. Um, you're not really interrupting people, so Pulm, which has already been nerfed pretty hard, doesn't really give you that much anyways. And then I'm taking Bound, and that's just for stealth access and just damage. Dash is really good still, and I would use it on the normal Dash DP build that I've always run. But this is kind of like a new build that's more 2v2 oriented than Conquest. Like in Conquest, I feel that dash DP is still superior, right? But this build is still really good for like taking even fights or even 1v1ing because you have so much blind and uh, you can kind of like cover the node with all your blind fields. Um, but yeah, this is really good for like a more 1v1 role or as I said, in 2v2s. I've been using this build in 2v2s and it's pretty nice with a ranger or maybe even a warrior or some kind of like bruiser that can survive being 1v2'd for a bit while you kite and wait for cooldowns. So yeah, that's pretty much the build. Uh, normally, 
you're going to be using withdraw you can take channel vigor but with bound i would never take channel vigor because um you get destroyed by immobilize basically so yeah i would take withdraw and roll for initiative is really good i've taken signet of agility uh, if you really need Condi Cleanse, but Roll for Initiative kind of gives you um, initiative, which means more black powder, uh, which you can do combos for stealth, which can give you, um, you know, Condi Cleanse. But against like reveals, you could get really destroyed by that. So Roll for Initiative is more versatile in situations that you don't already kind of counter. Dagger Storm, I was taking that. It's not amazing. But it does have really good synergy with um, blind fields, right? Because look at all of this um, blind that I'm doing, and it's giving me the life leech. So it's pretty nice um, with this build. However, Bassy Venom is actually really strong because CCs allow people to actually do their damage, right? Because CCs do no damage now, so you can do damage. Um, and CC at the same time with Basilisk Venom, right? So it's kind of interesting here that, I mean, basically Dagger Storm has been nerfed pretty heavily. It's still okay, and with this build it's okay, but Impact Strike I was also using in 2v2s as well. So actually I would prefer Basilisk Venom and possibly Impact Strike unless you really needed to survive then Dagger Storm would give you the most sustain and the most, um, you know, survivability. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You take Smoke Screen obviously because that's just more blinds, and you can do nice combos where you um, say you get the Warrior Stolen ability, and then you you do a Whirl Finisher in that. It's really good, and obviously your backstabs don't hit that hard, but you can do pretty decent damage on them it's mostly just that you want to do like the pistol combos to kind of like whittle people down and then once you do get them pretty low you can swap to like your dagger and then start spamming heart seekers and stuff like that and they start doing pretty good damage after a certain point so yeah i mean everything else is Kind of been nerfed in damage quite a bit so while those numbers don't look amazing that was also a heavy golem and uh yeah that's a pretty decent damage for hitting a heavy golem right so it's also level 81 yeah so um yeah that's pretty much it fucking counter.
Hey guys, remember to like and subscribe the video if you want more of these. And also comment if you have any builds for like Thief that you found to be performing pretty well after the patch. I know there's a Sword Dagger Daredevil build that's pretty decent. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be making a guide like that later. But if there's anything else, let me know and I'll check it out.